Hello there, welcome back to some more Steam Mode Dig. Apparently I've reached 800 odd meters, which is double what I've reached right now. So, clearly, I don't know what I'm talking about. I've gotten a lot further down than I think I have. But I don't remember it, so... Whether for good or ill, I don't recall. Let's head down. Now we've got a five minute timer on our uh, fuel gauge. Got lots of water, lots of health. I've got fall dampeners. I can fall further. Without taking damage. Which is nice. TNT explosion room, apparently. Don't need that, need this. Still standing too close to explosions on the regular. I'll back up and explore this bit first. This should be doable if I'm careful about it. Well, actually, I might get a steam jump up there. Checking for the gems and things, you know. Okay, cool. Right, so that's that done. Now let's go down here. Spine shafted up. Kind of already is for me in a way. We've reached the below world. Okay. Okay. Let's fall. We're into the robot world. Fall down there. I don't remember Robot World, but clearly, if I went to 800 depth, I did do it. Evidently. Embryum. Embryum. $200 emerald. I'm expecting a way back up once I get down here, so...
purple tight. Here we are. Return to town. It goes deeper. We found Vectron. The mine goes even deeper. Is that Foston Yama? How is that even possible? The only thing's supposed to be down at that depth is molten rock. Please be careful. Something must be cooling the earth down. You really should explore whatever's down there. Gargantuan pouch. Heal me up, please. I had no idea there's another tube down there. Proves your uncle's been that deep at least. Might be you even find the source of Joe's knowledge down there. You have to tread carefully. Those are strange stuff. No only open way down, you know. What, I, what do you have then? Oi. The deeper you dig, the better off we'll be, I say. Full caution of the wind, pilgrim, and let that pick fly. Yeehaw! I might as well upgrade. Final armor upgrade, at least for now. And then swift pickaxe will be next. Alright. Here we are then. Welcome to Vectron. The fist is clearly the weapon of choice to kill people with, it turns out. Can we get a full eight stack of whatever we're getting? Lazurite. Uranium more. What's in this? Ah, oh, it's just a, a easy way open thing. That's like a thwomp. I remember those blocks, so I must have been down here if I remember it. They hurt a lot too, I remember that. They come back. That's the nuance there. So making spine shaft is quite hard when you can't go up and down easily. And getting more health will be good, or at least taking less damage. depth. I need more help destroying things. Because otherwise we're going to struggle. At least they only take one hit to kill. I guess I just got to dig in a different way because digging the way I've been digging isn't going to work. Wherever there's one like this, I need to just go to the side of it. The sort of spine shaft in a diagonal direction. I'm going to need you to get to here easier. go back up again. But since I'm taking so much heat and damage, I need to... I think it's not breaking. We 
Okay. Yes, yeah, so, so I'm taking too much damage. I need to leave heal back up again. Yellow. Take care down there. Heal me. Thank you. Try and take it more easy. Yeah, so these blocks keep coming back. Not sure whether that's necessarily a good or bad thing. It's just a thing. So I might want to make staircases instead. Finding gemstones is getting harder. There's less of them about. So you've got to be careful about what you're doing. Next thing I need to upgrade is a pickaxe again if I can. Drill only takes one right now because my drill is much more powerful than my other tools. That's why I remember switching to the drill. Because I probably did once my drill started becoming good. But I need to upgrade my pickaxe so that this can also do the business. big central opening too. Let's explore this. There's a robot man somewhere. Where did he fuck off to? Thank you. Like I said, if I find a one that's going to impede me in some way, I need to move. Cave. Might not be able to solve the cave yet, but... Okay, they, they turn into explosives that charge at you. Okay. Good to know. That's why it wasn't there, because it had already blown up. This thing can see me through the walls, apparently. Can I destroy it? I can. Thank you. Right, let's go in the cave.
Now I'm basically fine. I could use the fist to dig up faster as well if I wanted to. But I don't want to. Better gold for me, thank you. Get the orbs. Get this one. This is using your knowledge of the fact that you can stand on corners and get this shit. You can stand right on the very edge and get this shit too. I think that's everything. Okay, cool. Now then. What's next? I might actually want to put a teleporter down if I don't. Okay, they can jump too. <laughs> they can aim for you, so if I see one, I need to sort of jump over it to get it to avoid me. They're now in the dark, so I should probably attempt to leave. I swear your ladders and things will be helpful as well. Because otherwise you might get in situations where you get stuck. Because of lasers and whatever else destroying the path. I think I can make it up there. There we go. Make my way over to the spine shaft. Now I can find our way out. Without too much trouble. all of our goods and services. I don't get it. it, should be blistering below. Well, it ain't. Hello, can I have a swift pickaxe, please? And then, since you're here, my store, I presume you'll have impeccable taste. And the garnet pickaxe, please. And the emerald pickaxe. Down to my last four bucks. But now we may continue prosperously. Going down is dead easy. Going up, not so easy. Now we're down into one by one. Whoa. Food, honestly. Now with my increased pickaxe speed, I'm in a much better position. Where I can do things fairly quickly. Not ultra quickly, but fairly quickly. Got an itchy ear. Ugh. I hate when that happens. So now even though it's three, not so bad. Because I can do it quickly. Alright. Bait them. 
into exploding themselves. Okay. Find ourselves in a new and unfamiliar world. I do like all these natural little caves though. They're fun. Getting back up might be a bit of a problem now. That shouldn't be too bad. Yeah, use that. That'll do. Okay. Cool. Hello, robot friend. Please no kill. See, they can't turn them out, but they will jump at gaps. He'd be gone. Upgrade this too, so it does more damage. Because right now it's a little bit pitiful. Hello, regular for Jimmy. I almost forgot digging rule number one. Always give yourself a way to get out. What is that laser noise? Ah, oh, it's a laser grid. Kind of in the name. Let's go in this cave then. Cave numero uno. The lasers are instant kill, perhaps? Perhaps. Are they being generated or are they just going to come once and that's it? being generated. Okay, hitting him with an attack is a bad idea. Good to know. Die. That's a shortcut back to the mainland. Bad positioning on my part. Kill them straight away. the upgrade. What is it? Mineral detector. So now we know where minerals are. Extremely helpful. Ex 
extremely so, in fact. See, I think that's a hidden thing there. So although I can't tell that the secret area exists, I can tell it's there because I can uh, see through the walls. That oh, barely hurt me. That one hurt me a little bit more. Now we're in the bowels of the thing. Shut off that shit immediately. So get that, that's the most. That counts as a mineral detection, okay. All that's left then is to go back around the level and see what's missing. Probably accessed from the maze side. Yeah, yeah. Understood. Alright, this shuts off the laser. And now we can see where minerals were that we missed. That shows me just how not thorough I've been. also shows you that things can be anywhere. They really can. <laughs> Including minerals and stuff. It almost sounds like Samus taking damage from Metroid Prime when this guy takes damage. It goes, <gasps> or maybe it's just the sound effect, but it sounds like that's what it's doing. Okay, let's leave. I feel pretty good about my explanation of upstairs. If I missed something, it wasn't a lot. Be gone. Your laser bullshit. I don't want to hear it. Yes, yeah, something up there. Okay. Now we can get out and do what we need to do. Got a full stack of stuff, so it's going to be quite a lot of money.
Okay. Yellow. They're living things down there. What are they? Animals? Think they're smarter than that? Unfathomable tank and super armor. I'll put all the upgrades. Not a single thing of this looks familiar. Some strange force driving it. The other stuff is just very advanced steam technology. This is something different altogether. I can't even figure out what it's supposed to do. I think I'll call it electricity. Yeah, what do you have then? Sure, a lot of things are known about what's down in those depths. Still, it's worth exploring. You found some great stuff so far, partner. Don't look your gift steam horse in the mouth, I always say. Do you know? You always say that. Why would a single soul choose to dwell down there? In the dirt and dark. I do believe they must all be somewhat simple. Do you not agree? Hyper drill. I'm gonna get more max war and max health too when I can. Hyper drill is the most bestest drill I can get. Okay. Right. See you guys next time when we go back to the Vectron and see what we can find there. See you then. Goodbye.